What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I want to cover the regressions post which has been floating about on the internet which basically covers the regressions from Destiny Year 3. Regressions basically means a return to or lost developed state. Basically this post covers things which were taken out of what we know as a Destiny player when Destiny 2 arrived. So we will run through this massive list and speak a little more on this. But before we get into it guys, do you want to win some epic loot? If so, I have emblem codes, sparrow codes, gift cards and much more. To win some simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Also join my Discord server, linked within the video description. Okay, so onto the list. So we're gonna start with the removal of chaos and collections. No heroic mode strikes, story missions. Cannot replay story missions at will. No rewards at end of crucible and nightfall game modes. No random weapon armor perks. No skeleton keys, strike specific loot. One over one drop rate on raid encounters. Cannot select specific PVP modes. No PVP private matches. No rift mode in PVP. No rumble mode in PVP. No salvage mode in PVP. No mayhem mode in PVP. No inferno mode in PVP. No skirmish mode in PVP. No 6v6 PVP modes. No 3v3 PVP modes. No Sparrow Racing League, no Machine Guns, no Customizable Class Trees, no Record Books, no Equipment Segregation in the Vault, no Visible Reputation Levels, no Collectibles, Dead Ghosts etc, no Bounties, Exotic Weapon Quests take Inventory Slots, no Gunsmith Quests, Zer has a limited inventory, no Vanguard Crucible Equipment Vendors, Engrams are limited per account, no Ammo Synths, Cannot reroll weapons or armor. Armor and weapons have only one active perk. Shaders can only be applied once. No connection meters are visible within PvP, obviously. No daily story playlist, no weekly strike playlist, and no Vanguard consecutive strike streak bonus. So this list was put together by Steve the Impact. And no doubt there are more things that have been taken away from what we know of Destiny Year 3. Now I know a lot of people will be thinking and saying, well Destiny 2 is a new game. Destiny Year 3 is a game with years of added content. Yes that is very very true indeed but that isn't the point here. The point is all of which I mentioned on that list which is missing is to a point of this new game in Destiny 2 isn't really a follow up. It's more like a reboot. A sequel to a game should take all of what we loved and expected from the first game and put them into place within that sequel. Not take away all what we love from the first game and replace it with absolutely nothing. The way in which the game has developed over the past few years to become a game so full of content is unreal. And leading up to the point of Destiny 2, I highly doubt anyone thought Destiny 2 after a few months would be in this state. What Bungie are indeed doing is the exact same thing they did with Destiny 1. The game before DLCs, although it offered more than what Destiny 2 did, it died pretty quick. DLCs brought and added new things into the game, a lot of the things people asked for to make the game better, make the game more of a grind, more accessible in many ways and added more things to do. I have a feeling the exact same things from this regressions of the list which people asked for within Destiny 1 which Bungie delivered on will also sometime be delivered in Destiny 2. The exact same features will be expected to be a standard issue in Destiny 2. What pisses me off even more is the fact people seem to be happy with it in Bungie taking away core features only to add them later down the line as new DLC features which in my opinion is a serious piss take. But many people including content creators don't say a bad word to Bungie as they don't want to jeopardise their Bungie event invites. They won't say a thing, they will suck it up and spread the joy acting like it's right, which in fact it isn't. But guys you don't have to worry, I won't ever become that person. If you guys have followed me for a while now you know I say it how it is. I say what I believe, I'm not lying to my fan base while keeping things real. I do respect Bungie in many many ways and do give props to the things I believe they do right. They do listen for the most part and do deliver also. But these kind of tactics upon removing core features only to add them back later down the line is kind of scummy. Did they mean to take things away knowing they will add them later on down the line? I would hope not. But in saying that, they know what we wanted as we pleaded with them for the changes in Destiny 1. More about the point to this list. If you were to go back and start Destiny 1 fresh, the amount of things to play and grind for is unreal. Although Destiny 2 I understand could never be as full of content upon release but it should have definitely not taken away a lot of the core elements which make the game what it should be. That is the point of this regressions list. Bungie have kind of not learned a thing over the past few years it seems. 
But like I said in saying that, they did mention changes which are coming, which seem great. These changes really should have been in place from the start, but still there are things needed to be in place. Things like purchasing vendor items with shards and so forth, all that juicy 2 season 2 info which was dropped. That kind of seems like the game we want this to be. The change is being brought with that, and no doubt the change is being brought with the DLC coming soon. I understand the concern of many people as well though, who we talked about how Bungie didn't mention power level increase at this TwitchCon reveal stream. Well here's actually why, Season 2 I believe will drop shortly after the first DLC. The DLC will deliver on power level increases no doubt and many other features. What they talked about Season 2 was, are added features to a system which will have changed from what we know now, to the new features that come into place with the DLC. So yes, as we have learned, be patient with Bungie and they will eventually deliver, even if they're delivering the same things we've already had before. Expect three live streams from Bungie in November covering the new DLC and more. I obviously will have you guys covered here on my channel, so if you're new around here and enjoy Daily Destiny, be sure to subscribe. What kind of makes me sad though is the fact 99% of my friends list who would normally be playing Destiny 2 at this stage of release are playing other games such as Fortnite, a game I am loving and will be covering more of here on my channel. But on that note guys, let me know what you think about this regressions list. Thanks as always for stopping by, leaving a like really does help me out and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Always in the